Welcome to Academic Gain Tutorials. In this video, we will look into the differences between shielded metal arc welding and gas metal arc welding. Arc welding is one type of fusion welding process where an electric arc is used to supply heat for fusing the faying surfaces of the base materials that are to be joined. In order to weld wide variety of materials in different fashions, there exist several arc welding processes, two of them are shielded metal arc welding and gas metal arc welding. Shielded metal arc welding is one fusion welding process where the arcade is established between a flux coated electrode and the conductive base plates. On the other hand, gas metal arc welding is another fusion welding process where the arc is established between a continuous pair electrode and the conductive base plates. So, let's look into the basic differences between shielded metal arc welding and gas metal arc welding in a tabular form. Difference number 1 a short and small diameter rod is used as electrode for shielded metal arc welding. Electrode length is typically restricted to 60 cm, whereas, gas metal arc welding employs a small diameter but long consumable electrode that comes in the form of a wire. This long wire is wound in a pool. Number 2. In shielded metal arc welding, short consumable electrode is required to replace frequently. Thus welding cannot be carried out continuously for a longer duration, whereas, in gas metal arc welding, because of very long consumable electrode, it is not required to change frequently and thus welding can be carried out continuously for a longer duration. Number 3. The shielded metal arc welding process is not very productive as filler deposition rate is low, whereas, the gas metal arc welding process can deposit filler metal at a very high rate, and hence it is highly productive. Number 4. A flux coated electrode is utilized in shielded metal arc welding process. The flux layer is thicker, whereas, bare electrode is utilized in gas metal arc welding process. Sometimes a thin anti corrosive coating layer is deposited on the electrode. Number 5. In shielded metal arc welding, the flux coating of the electrode disintegrates during welding and provides necessary shielding gas, whereas, in gas metal arc welding, Shielding gas is delivered additionally from a gas cylinder to the welding torch through suitable pipeline. Number 6. In shielded metal arc welding, the flux also produces a slag layer on the weld bead. This slag layer protects hot weld metal pool from oxidation, but can also lead to welding defects if get embedded inside the weld bead, whereas, due to absence of flux, no slag layer forms on the weld bead. So changes of slag inclusion defect is also nil. Number 7. It is versatile as it can be employed in different locations in several orientations or positions, whereas, gas metal arc welding is preferred for downhand or inclined position only. And, difference number 8, as the name suggests, manual metal arc welding is mostly carried out manually. So risk of human error is associated with this process, whereas, gas metal arc welding can be easily automated requiring minimum intervention of human operator. Accordingly, it eliminates the risk of human errors, 